It was reported in Flower Town that a man who used to paint pictures lost both of his boys at the number seven pit. The pit had been abandoned for some time due to financial losses. The boys had broken a promise not to play there and had kept it a secret. A young woman from the Blue Shoulder nightclub found them. The case detective said, the evidence indicated that one brother had tried to rescue the other, but the embankment caved in, and the ore spread over them both like a blanket. No one in charge at the tornado factory had thought to put up a fence. grade of ore, lost their bloom shortly after rising out of their little coffins on the battlefield. This embarrassed the army and was bad for the men who owned the factory. The man and his wife filed charges against the factory. There was a trial, witnesses were called, and testimony was recorded. Of course, those responsible got away with what they always get away with. They thought things belonged to them, which never did, like they always had. Business being business, and labor being more of a nuisance than an expense, the men in charge walked away from pit number seven and started digging number eight, where the ore was firm to the grip and up to the task.
the boy's father stopped painting after the accident. Every time he scraped the surface of the paint, it made his grief too real. So, he set his paintings aside and buried his feelings by mending other people's broken machines. His wife began to make sculpture. When she made her work, she could bear the images. It became a comfort to him. It became the one thing that might mend her and keep them together. <laughs>